What's up guys and <laughs> welcome to another episode of Tim's Tutorials. Today we're going to be doing um, a domed Takish tower roof or um, crown and uh, basically it's going to look like what we have here in front of me right now with some slight modifications. Uh, we're going to be doing this from scratch but I'm going to walk you step by step through it and then we're actually going to put it into practice um, at the end of the video where you actually see me put it together and build one of these. Um, but uh, it, there are some things about the one that I have in front of me that is not exactly to the style and uh, which is basically this ring right here. This is straight horizontal and most likely you will want something that kind of comes at an angle even though I did uh, kind of do the angling with the these little arches um, there are you know you might want to actually put something at an angle here and um, we're gonna be playing around with some stuff but it's the actual um, principles that I'm going to be showing you uh, that will help you get to the point where you're actually making something that is feasible for the Takish uh, competition um, so definitely uh, Stay tuned with us, and we're going to um, kind of get going here. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through uh, the, the whole process that I did in, uh, um, to make this, this piece um, kind of step by step, and then we're actually going to take this and put it into practice um, on another dome, and um, something that might be a little bit smaller, might be a little bit larger, or I may end up using the same exact sizing that I did for this one up here. This one here is pretty large uh, just because I was working on the uh, the process of creating it. Now this is what I used to, to kind of kick this thing off. Um, you can kind of see what I pulled out is a 31 by 31 uh, quarter circle and what I used was this uh, particular uh, circle set which is the one that I use for almost everything um, it was made by Fredless and um, the one that I'm using is this one right here which is the 31 by 31 and it is the uh, the first ring that I use now I also end up using uh, the ones that are under it uh, which is these two just below it uh, which goes up to the 35 by 35 and the one that's in between those two is the 33 by 33 now this is the even set so when you put them all together they create a even number we're going to turn this even into an odd uh, an odd set now if we come back over to here you'll see what I'm referring to I laid it down and I painted the ends of it and when I'm laying them down, I overlaid these little end caps. And that way they formed a single uh, piece right here in the center. And this gave me a odd circle all the way across it, which is a uh, 61 unit or uh, 61 voxel. And this is the premise for what I do after that. I now now move on to the next step, which I put cross beams. I basically selected all the way across. I dropped it down and I created uh, from the very pinnacle pieces of this, dropped them down and created this cross section. I then laid down um, a, a prime voxels all the way out in a 45 degree angle from the center until I came all the way to the outside to right here on each one of the sides and this came out to a 21 by 21 for this one and this created the actual cross piece or the uh, the star piece that I use um, to actually lay out the cutting section I next I copied nothing but this I brought it over and I inlaid it uh, pasting without air into the floor and I painted one voxel in on each location. I painted each one of those locations all the way around and painted the center. 
I then took my circle that we had created, which is this one over here, and I stacked it up so that I had something to work with. I wanted my walls a little bit thicker than what is uh, present here, so I used the second uh, circle down, which if we come back over here, I used this circle right here, which is the 33 uh, units. <clears throat> I used that one to create the second uh, set of circles, um, which is this one right here. <clears throat> and I've actually got this mislabeled. It is actually the, uh, the 33. Oh, actually, it's, it is correct. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it comes out as 57 units. And selecting from here to here, it does come out to 29 units. I was thinking it was the 33, but it's the next size down from the, the first one we used. I took this one and I pasted without air onto the inside of this one. And we come up with something that looks like this. So it's actually a four voxel thick uh, section here. And that's how the, the walls are, are, are thick enough that it's actually going to look like it has some, some meat and bones to it. I copied this whole stack here and I I pasted this circle above where we had our star shape that we created. I left one voxel gap between it and the ground level. That way I could actually see the markings underneath of the circle which takes us over to here. And <clears throat> what I ended up doing here was I created a 15 voxel deletion tool. So if we kind of scroll this down, I scrolled it down to 15. And at each one of those points, I put my uh, cursor right on that mark and I created a deletion. And it actually creates what you see here. Now you can only you, you can actually do three in one corner, copy that, that uh, quarter piece and just uh, copy, rotate, paste, rotate, paste, rotate, paste, and uh, cr to create this uh, this shaping. <clears throat> instead of having to do each and every one of them which gave me this here now as you can tell it's elongated now what I did to do the elongation of this is I took a little section over here but copy the bottom voxel worth all the way around the bottom of it copy all that whole entire thing and what we're going to end up doing in that regards is we're going to create selections that are kind of like this and taking just the bottom voxel make sure it's only the bottom bottom voxel we're going to paste this straight down and this will give us the length that we're looking for uh, for the the legs of this <coughs> And that will give us this uh, shaping of the building here. Now, once I have this done, I wanted to have a ring that went around the outside edge to separate the bottom from the top. Now, what I ended up doing with, was taking the next one down, which was the 33 voxel, and I used it uh, for the next section. I um, I took this and laid it all out and then pasted it without air around the outside edge. The next important thing that I did to be able to get the dome on the top was I had to use the sizing that we used originally 
for the first circle, which is this dark one here, I used 61 voxels to create a sphere. And what it ends up coming out looking like is like this one here. And if you notice, it has these really strange circular effects onto it. Well, I left it like this and I took my deletion tool and just as we would create a um, your own circles, you would take the sizing of 61 and you would minus four voxels, that way you have two voxels uh, thick wall on each side, and you will center this deletion let me get it up to our 57. Actually, I think that uh, circle might be this different size. But um, let's go ahead and try it anyway. We're going to put this right here and try to get it centered as much as you possibly can on one side. Hold Control, click. We're now going to push this into the first circle. get it as centered as you possibly can and then you'll hit your checkbox and that will delete out the center of it if you start having deformations on one uh, side of it that means you're too close to that one side you may want to move it down um, it, it takes a little bit of uh, playing with to get that deletion uh, done but once it's done you're you're pretty much set to go select the whole entire thing and use your your uh, smooth tool on it on the whole entire sphere and hit it 10 times with the, just a standard smooth tool this will actually remove that really weird spiraling effect that we have here on the sides you can see how we have like these little waves once you smooth it 10 times with the smooth tool, you'll get something that looks like this. Very clean, it looks really good, and we're pretty much set to go. We then want to find our center point all the way across the center point here. And you'll want to select that center point all the way across on all sides make sure you do not miss any of it you know let a little bit hang over on it pull it up copy it and then when you paste it out it will look like this one and you'll see you'll get a little bit of artifacts on the inside don't worry about that but this is what we end up having once we actually delete out that center section we actually have a dome it's clean and it's all exactly the same thickness all the way around. We copy this and paste it right on the 61 circle right here on the top of it. And as you can tell, we get a little bit of artifacting, nothing really major, but it comes out looking really clean. At this point, take your line tool, we'll kind of scroll this down a little bit here take your line tool go to one of the uh, side markers click from one side marker to the other and do this a few times and a lot of that artifacting that you'll end up seeing will kind of disappear a lot of this artifacting will also disappear when uh, you go to change materials and we do this from one corner to the other and you may want to do it two or three times on each one of these corners uh, to clean up as much as you possibly can but this is what we kind of come up with um, once we get close to the end of this portion of it now I wanted to have my steps here to be angled you know we have a high point which would be this entrance and then it gradually goes down at an angle. Now to do this, copy out a section.
Make sure you get a little bit of overhang on either side. Copy it. And at this point, we can either bring it down, bring it up, but paste with air when you do this. And this way, it will you, you'll be able to control it just a little bit better. And for this, if I pop this in here, get it right on top. I'm going to paste with air. And this way, if I go up and paste, it will actually move the archway upwards. And if I wanted to go down with it, I could put it right back the way it was or even bring it down even more. It depends on how much you select uh, vertically, um, the, the more control you have and the less pasting you'll have to do to get the same effect. But that is how I ended up getting these little arches at the angle uh, type uh, shape is what I have here. Now I went in, I painted it, and you can see most of that artifacting is now gone. Here at the top, you don't see it at all. I painted the top with the uh, Takish glass. Um, it looks really pretty, gold, and of course the Takish green here at the bottom. <clears throat> but that is the basic build for this. And um, what you do with this, it's kind of all up to you. I mean, you can come in here, uh, put angular stuff on it, you know, um, put your different uh, design patterns and stuff like that on it. But I think this is a good starting point uh, or a good little walkthrough on how to get to this point where you have something that's uh, fairly um, nice looking and something that you could put on top of the uh, Takish Tower. Um, you know for a good starting point so with that let's uh go ahead and step into the next realm of this and as you can see i've got all kinds of circles and all this other kind of stuff here so let's go ahead and put this into practice and um we're going to build one from scratch so you can actually see uh each step uh kind of step by step as we put this thing together okay so with everything that I uh, went over earlier, I know that was a generic breakdown version of the tutorial, but I want to go ahead and do a hands-on approach version um, here at the end. Uh, some people learn at a different pace, and um, I figured I'd do this to um, kind of take us into the hands-on portion of actually putting it together step by step. So we're starting out with this which is the 31 by 31 quarter circle here I'm going to copy this and this is going to be the first one the next one will be this one here which is the 29 and then the last one uh, that we're going to be pulling will be this one right here which is the 33 and I kind of fumbled that at, at the begin point but uh, it's these three right here but um, once we get this first piece let's go ahead and get up to our little platform here so we can uh, kind of get this rolling I'm gonna pop this one down right over here I'm gonna paint the ends of it this is something you can probably skip but it's a good visual uh, reference to see if you're actually pasted uh, appropriately. So grab corner to corner, copy, paste, mirror, and put this one tip to tip, overlaying the tips like so. We're going to mirror in the other direction, doing the same thing overlaying tip to tip we're going to tab through and mirror to the other direction and paste and this is going to be our first circle and we're going to be basing the the rest of this based on this circle so let's go ahead and select the whole thing I'm going to control X control V paste make sure that I'm there's one two bring it up two voxels off of the ground 
so I have plenty of space underneath of it. I'm going to select from one side to the other, bring this down to voxels. I'm going to fill this graph from this section to this section on the markers, bring it down to voxels and fill. Now at this point we're going to be filling in at a 45 degree angle so it's going to be quarter uh, the corner to a corner of prime voxels until we hit the outside. And there we go. We're on the outside edge. As you can see right here, we're pretty even on it. Let's go ahead and select this. We are at 21 by 21. I'm going to copy this, paste, rotate, and drop it in on the other side. Mirror it. Put it where it needs to be over here. Tab, tab, mirror, and paste. So now we have our star pattern. I'm going to select the whole entire star pattern here. Drag it across. thing. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come over to the corner over here. I'm going to drop this down. Paste without air. So it's inset into the ground. I can now delete this that we created earlier. And if you notice what I showed earlier, it takes up quite a bit of space laying it out step by step. Um, so I'm trying to conserve space in the process here. Okay, so let's come over here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to uh, plastic, uh, lumicite, anything that's a different color than what we have used for the lines. And in this case, I'm going to use uh, plastic. Let's use this blue and I'm going to go in one voxel I'm going to paint same thing here in one voxel paint in one voxel paint in one voxel paint in one voxel paint 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 and these are our markers that we're going to be using to actually do the deletion part <clears throat> so once I have this done, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to cut, which is Control X, to cut this circle here. And I'm going to place this right above this circle that I have here. And I'm going to give one voxel gap in between the circle and the floor. So there's on top, one above. I'm going to paste. And I'm going to come up probably around nine voxels ish. I'm going to come up until I'm happy, pretty much. <clears throat> And I think that right there should do it. Now at this point, we're pretty much set to go for um, the big portion of uh, this build. Now once I'm at this point, I want to implant that next ring. If you want, you can leave it like this. This is up to you. 
I would advise at least three voxels thick um, with a minimum of three voxels. You know, if you go up to four, that's pretty much ideal. It comes out looking really clean. So now, once we have that, let's go and grab the next um, section of the circle that we're going to be working with, which is the 29 by 29 quarter circle. So coming over here, let's grab this one, copy, and let's get back over to where we were. So let's make our next circle. And at this, I'm going to paint something in an opposite color of what we have here. So let's paint some dark corners. Copy, paste, bring it up, mirror. Paste, mirror. mirror and paste so now we have this circle now we're going to select this whole thing and do a cut control X I'm going to implant this right at the same point, if you notice my mouse cursor, I put it right on that center mark, which is right there. So if I paint that center marker, you can see where I'm putting my, my mouse cursor at. I put it right on that mark, and you can see it actually puts it really right where you need it to be. So there's right against the floor, up one, control click, make sure I'm pasting without air. And I'm going to fill up the inside of this other circle. And there we go. <clears throat> now, at this point, it, it starts kicking in, and we start um, really getting the basic shape of what it is we're trying to build, which is the, the arches, and trying to really um, bring this thing together. So at this point, I'm going to go to my deletion tool. I'm going to go into my shape selection, and I can select the sphere here or being on this uh, deletion tool I can hit C which will turn this into the deletion tool automatically and you can hit C again to put it back to a square so we're going to put this on the deletion tool and I'm going to bring this up to 15 voxels and place in my my cursor right on that blue mark if you notice it, as long as I'm close to it it will put it right where I would want it to be uh, which is perfect for this and I'm going to click go to the next one put my cursor right on the blue mark and I'm going to just kind of fly around deleting out each one and like I said doing it in this fashion is fairly quick fairly easy and you can get some really really great results so there we, go. there we go we have our basic shape created now I'm going to copy everything we have um, made so far put it on the other side pull it over hold F to grab the other side pull it out Hold F to pull it down. And now I have pretty much everything selected. I'm going to do a control C. And 
hopefully not fall off of my claim which I probably am anyway all right let's get back up here sorry about that had the whole thing selected I'm just going to do a copy this time control C to copy I'm going to hit escape I'm going to do a control Z all the way back out until I get my floor back and I'm going to select the whole thing pull it over pull it over I'm now going to use my heel tool to clean that up and hit escape let's pull, put this uh, fairly let's put this over in this corner here and before I do that let me make sure that my air is clean over here let's pull this up I'll fill it with dirt and then use my heel tool on it escape escape control V to paste I'm gonna paste this right into the corner fairly bring this up fairly high here because we're going to be working under it now at this point we've got something that is it's really starting to take form but we want to take these pillars sections here and actually bring them downwards and there's you know depending on what it is that you're actually using this for this could be for the Takish but you could probably make your own pillars and have them connected at each one of these points all the way around and have something that looks a little bit more Roman or or Greek um, but for this we're st kind of sticking with the uh, Turkish um, or high elf um, little design pattern here so I'm gonna select everything here at the bite here at the bottom of it making sure that I have it all selected fly around it make sure that it is selected and even if you have to come over you know an extra voxel on the outside uh, you have it all selected like so I'm going to do a control C to copy control V to paste and I'm going to align this with the one that's um, that we uh, copied above it and at this point we want to paste and just go straight down with it and this will give us a very nice vertical connection piece that is exactly in shape with what we're trying to do Right? and how high you make this thing is kind of up to you as well um, but I think that right there pretty much puts us right where we want to be now if I want to make these things it's instead of being them uniform all the way around I want to break that uniformity up especially with the Takish building um, we don't want anything you know symmetrical and making it look like this we want to break that symmetry up just a little bit so I want to copy this this is going to be our high point this is going to be our next height level so I want to copy this section I'm going to grab right here about the center of that area to the center of this area and I'm going to copy it I'm going to paste and this time we're going to put our pasting with air back on once I get this thing into position all right we're on position I'm going to do a control click turn air back on and this time I'm going to drop it down one voxel paste bring it down one more voxel and paste so we're coming down two voxels um, at this point if we want a little bit more of an angle we can go three 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 until we get all the way around um, let's go ahead and do that just in case 
So we got three there. Now I'm going to mirror it and drag it over to this side. So we have here. So one, two, up, paste, paste, paste. So there's our three voxels. This one on the sides, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Let's select this whole section. Make sure we've got it all. My stomach is growling. <laughs> Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Make sure I'm on it. Right there. <clears throat> so one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go to the other side. Try not to get too close to my edge over here. Control V. I'm going to mirror it into this direction so that it will fit get it overlaid one I'm not on it am I no I'm not there we go one two three four five six <clears throat> over here we're going to do the same thing grab here at the center point and grab over here to the center point so copy paste one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks good. Now let's do a little shortcut. Copy, paste, mirror. Get it right where we want it to be, right there. Click. Now I'll save us a little bit of steps. <clears throat> and go ahead and get all this selected. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Bring this down, overlay it. All right, there we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I've got a little bit too much, so let me go ahead and grab it here to here. Should be able to go one more. Let's get this put in there. And 12. So now we have our little angling kind of going on here. Pretty much all set to go now. All we got to do now is put in the dome. So let's go ahead and um, 
kind of get that going. So with that, we need a circle that is based on the 61, which is the circle that we uh, created earlier. Um, we're going to make that as our dome piece. So let's go ahead and control V. Oops. Wrong. Go to our add tool. We're going to scroll this up to 61. Sixty-one. We're going to do a control click, bring this up into the air. <clears throat> and I'm going to pull this off to the side because we may use this for another reason here in a moment. Um, once we get to the next little phase that I want to do with this, but there's our sixty-one. Let's hit check, and let's go ahead and make sure of our size. Sixty-one, so we're good. Now we want to uh, subtract from this. So if it's sixty-one, we've got sixty, fifty-nine, fifty-eight, fifty-seven. Four voxels under whatever it is that we've created the first circle out of. So we're down to fifty-seven. That's what we want to use for the delete tool. So if we come into our delete tool, it is set on 61, which is the same as our add. We're going to come down to 57. I'm going to hold control, click, and I'm going to try my best to center this to the center of the actual circle. And however you... Um, you know, work this however you do it is kind of up to you. Um, I like trying to center it on the top first, like this, and then re, um, push it downwards. And you can see if I kind of play with this back and forward, you can see if it's halfway centered or not. Right there. It doesn't seem like it's quite centered in one direction or the other. So I'm going to try my best to get it as centered as I possibly can here. I think that's pretty close. Now let's drag this downwards. One, two. And that should be fairly close to the center point um, of the circle. And if we look this way, we want to know how much is on the bottom, how much is on the top. Is it the same? Is this side the same as this one? As you know, if I'm looking down this particular direction of the arrow, I then want to come to a opposing arrow, which would be this one. Looking down it, is this size the same as this one? and up here at the top and down here at the bottom is it the same if that line is there and it's um and you can actually see it on the from the top and the bottom that is a good indication that you're fairly close to the center point um and by going and checking those two points you can find out if you're really close or not once i'm at this i'm going to hit check when i hit check and I see no change in the shaping of this circle, then I know I'm right. If I moved this up and I was too close to one side or the other, let me bring this back in. If I was not exactly dead on to where I wanted to be or needed to be, and I hit check, you're going to see stuff like this where it deforms. And that's usually a really good indicator whether you're on it or not. I did a control, I actually cut it after the fact, so my circle is still cut out on the inside. Now, at this point, if you notice this circle, we have all these waves. 
and this is something that happens uh, with the uh, the tool it it doesn't fully smooth it for you it's smooth but it's not perfectly smooth and we still have all these little divot marks I want to get rid of that I want to clean it up I want it to look pretty and all that kind of stuff so I'm going to select this whole thing from one side to the other drag it and select the whole thing even if I go over some it's okay as long as we we get it all within the box all right make sure I got it on top fly around make sure I got it all selected and we're looking fairly good there let me bring this one out bring this one up bring this one out I swear my stomach's going crazy this morning <clears throat> had to eat breakfast I apologize so after I get it all selected I'm gonna come in here to my smooth tool and I'm gonna hit it 10 times um, once you hit this 10 times with the smooth tool one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if I hit my escape key now and I look at my circle look do you see the waves I don't <laughs> so now we have a fairly clean circle dome there's no little wavy bits in it it turns out looking really really good and it will fit on our um, building design here really nice we haven't lost any of the exterior sizing it should fit you know almost dead smack on what we have over there so we should be good now the next thing I want to do before we um, kind of get too far into it um, the other building if you notice I put a ring around the outside and I used a circle that was just bigger than this one so let's go over and grab that circle right quick which should be this one right here the 33 so let me copy this I'm gonna paste this down over here because we're going to be working with this uh, here shortly so let me paste this down into the world and we'll paint the ends just as I did before let's uh, scroll this down here paint my ends select the whole thing Control C to copy, Control V to paste, mirror it, put it into position, and can I get this thing going? We're going to be using this to put a design on this, or part of our design work. So we have that. Now, at this point we know that this circle is 61 that means if I select 31 voxels worth that should be my halfway mark because I want that that center voxel thick through so I've got 30 on the top 30 on the bottom and the one in the center is the extra so having the 30 on the top 30 on the bottom I want to include the one so it'll be 31 from the top section to the center point I want that center point that way I that um, it actually will connect cleanly so I'm going to select all this all the way down control C to copy And 
And at this point, you'll be able to see the deletion that we had on the, on the center point. Control V to paste. Now, before I put it down, let me put this up in the air and click so you can see this. All of this in here is really fairly clean. There's, there's not much of a de deformation in here. Um, let's go ahead and use our line tool on it just in case. I do see a little bit of flakiness in there, but I want to flatten this out as much as I can. So I'm going to use my line tool. I'm going to go to a high point, to a side point, side point, to the high point, and I'm just going to go around the whole thing doing this. And this will help clean up some of those deformations um, or the little prickly bits that kind of stick out. The little poopy bits. All right, and that cleans it up really nice. We have a nice flat edge there. Now let's take this, select it, from side to side, control X, and I'm going to go ahead and fill this add tool and heal it so that I clean up the air up here because I pasted it right over where I was going to paste the dome and I don't want anything uh, to be the reason why it's not clean. So let's go ahead and get this thing lined up. Right there. center just a little bit there we go look at that you can already tell that it's going to line up to this thing fairly nicely I'm going to hit a checkbox look at that look how clean this this dome portion is this is going to look really nice when, when we um, do our final piece to it now as I said before, um, up here, if you notice, I've got all this is glass. And I put this ring around the outside face of it. Now, you can do that. You can take this. I can copy this right here from one side to the other. I can copy this, and I can paste without air around this. <clears throat> And I could probably be done with it, but like I said, it may not be exactly to the style guide. And um, knowing how um, how they are, they may hit people on that. But there you go. This is the basic shape of what we have down there. And you see all these um, this little artifacting that's going on here. You can take your line tool and do the same thing as I did before. Um, uh, high point to high point and just do this a few times to remove as much of the artifacting as you possibly can. Um, you will get a little bit of artifacting but most of that will disappear when you go to uh, paint it to another texture especially you know paint it to the gold and um, and the glass. So let me back out of this. I want to back up to this point. Now Say you wanted something a little different. Maybe you wanted to have an angle that, that kind of followed that the arches the way we put it in there. Well, um, one of the ways you can do this is we can select this whole thing. I'm going to do a control X to cut this because I want to bring it up into the air. And I'm going to start stacking this quite high. Now remember, uh, the high point was at zero. Our low point was minus 12 voxels. And you notice that I went down three, went down three, went down three, went down three. 
So the difference in between um, on my cut here, I want it to, to have a difference of 12 voxels. Now, uh, I'm going to make sure I have enough material here kind of put up that um, I can kind of work with it. So if I select the top face from here to here and all the way across, I'm going to add two voxels to either side or one to one side, one to the other. So um, that way I have uh, a little bit of overlay, a little bit of extra in there for when I use a line tool on this thing. So I'm going to take this, having the extra one voxel uh, at each one of the sides, I'm going to drag this off to one side with a one voxel gap between it and uh, the edge. Um, because I want it to be as clean as possible and looking over here this is my high side this is my low side so this is going to be my high side on this one I now want to bring this back over or actually let's bring this straight down one two three four five six seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's our 12 voxel uh, point. We're gonna go down one extra. And I'm gonna drag this across to the other side. And I'm gonna give it a one voxel gap on this side as well to here. Okay, now let's fill this in. I'm gonna take my line tool and I want to have it the same size as my platform. Here. I'm going to click. And I'm already in deletion mode right now. But if it comes up as the uh, yellowish color uh, or green, um, we want to hit F. As you can see there it is. There's the yellow and the green kind of flickering back and forth there. I'm going to hit F because I want it blue because that means I'm in the deletion mode. I hit the top of that side and I'm going to hit the bottom of this side. I'm going to line it up perfectly and we're going to hit delete. And this is going to cut us out an angle right there. It will follow the same angling as um, our little archways. Now we're going to select this side and if you notice the one thing about working with the angles the way the engine is working at this moment hopefully it will improve um, hopefully they will find out what's causing this artifacting and they will resolve it but I'm going to copy this bottom section down here control C to copy let's go up in the air a little bit control V to paste Let's bring this up. I don't think I selected quite enough of it. But uh, let's try it out first. And if it doesn't, then we'll recopy. But I'm going to paste this up. You notice I've got one voxel thick over on my, my lower end there. But I'm going to bring this down one voxel. Hold F and click. You notice it doesn't give me a clean uh, circular. It kind of breaks it apart. So I'm bringing it, back it up. Back it up again, Control Z. And I'm gonna select a little bit more material. I think we're gonna have to do a minimum of two voxels down So I'm going to copy out a little extra sec section there. Bring this over. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Let's bring this up into the air and do it again. So we're going to paste. 
get this thing overlaid again. Bring it down to one, two. Hold F to put it in deletion mode and click. And that way we have a ring that's at an angle like this. Grab our high point, grab to our low point. Now, as we're kind of doing this, you may want to paint, you know, and get things kind of in order the way you, you're wanting it. And uh, for this particular part, I'm going to paint this gold. And this will get us uh, kind of in line where we need to be. So I'm going to paint that. You can see that artifacting. Even though the structure of the voxels are sound, you will be getting artifacting. And um, it is not a builder issue, it is an engine issue and how it actually interprets uh, the voxels. Um, you know, there are some discussions about that, but it is not something that the players themselves can actually fix, even though um, I've had some of the best uh, people you can think of um, to try to solve that problem, but it still happens. Now, I'm going to grab this bottom, and I'm also going to select uh, the same texture color that I had over here, so we have pretty much the same thing. It's that green tockish uh, marble. I'm going to paint the bottom there, and I'm going to bring this up, and we're going to paint the top section, the glass. So I'm going to use the Takish glass, which is materials, common, glass, and you'll see Takish glass crystal. And let's go ahead and paint the, the top of it. Now let's take our ring that we have created here. Grab this whole thing. Do a control C. I'm going to paste this in, in line with our archways. So, control click get it close and do our control click to make sure that we're as close to it as we possibly can. There we go. You can see the angle of it right now. It looks pretty good. Bring this down. Make sure I'm in line. There we go. I've got it pretty close to online there. It might take a little bit of playing, but for the most part we're pretty much on, I, I probably shouldn't have dropped it down um, that one extra over here. That could have been my issue. Not a problem. Um, I might want to, you know, revisit that, but you get the idea. That's pretty much the big stuff right now. So, once I get this pasted in, we're going to paste without air. I think I'm going to bring this down right on the transition uh, from the glass uh, to the marble. Put it down something like that. And we're going to hit click. And there we go. We've got uh, something that kind of goes at an angle. It doesn't uh, kind of follow the rules. But you can see what I was talking about with the artifacting. This right here is about as clean as you can get. Um, everything is pretty much uh, using the, about as clean of voxels as you possibly can to create this. We used a circle stack instead of using um, um, a dome. Uh, up here, everything above this was all using the circle set. It was not using um, a circular cutting tool. And um, we, we're still getting those little artifacts. And it's not something we can really 
uh, do much about. And I've got a little bit of funkiness going on here in the center. I think that is our connection point between the dome and the wall. And we could probably use a smooth tool to kind of buff that uh, inside section out. But it looks really good so far. So, next thing we have to do, we just have to uh, paint up this little extra set here. Or we can um, make something out of the dome. We can take the dome uh, that we use over here and you can take if you find your center point you can take your delete tool and get it up to around 71 voxels and delete out a section you can do something like this and then come up to the top shrink it down and do a deletion here select that 31 voxels worth take this and paste without air into the dome and you can get these really intricate designs that kind of flow through this once you get this one done do it again except this time you know once you find that one location just mark it then delete copy that section out increase the size or de decrease the size and use the next section to overlay on top of it so you may have glass gold and then you have marble and just re recolor it as you're um, kind of working with the circle sections but you can do some pretty cool stuff here now hopefully I can grab this right where it needs to be How much is that? That's 33 units right there. I'm dead on it. That should be dead on it right there. So let me copy this and I'll show you what I'm t I was talking about. If I take this, I can inlay this onto the dome and just do some painting and incorporate it into the build. All right, but uh, like I said, we come in here, we paint up the little edges, um, or you can do it kind of like I did over there, where it's just a ring around the outside, and then put your um, design patterns on the outside of it. But hopefully, this is kind of giving you some ideas in some form or fashion. That's kind of the point of uh, these tutorials. Um, so with that, guys, um, hopefully I've helped guide you in one direction or the other. Um, or kind of giving you an idea on what you can do to uh, get to the next level, especially on like your tower builds or uh, some kind of a design pattern for the um, structures. <clears throat> so with that, guys, um, <laughs> hopefully that has helped, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.